She still thinks she can fly. I sometimes put her on my finger and lift up my hand and walk through the house. She loves it when she is high in the sky. She is my little chicken wing, my little naked piggy. They were so scared of the cats and after a period of stress, Coco lost her feathers. I thought it's better uh, that they stay here so they can relax a little bit and have their rest and maybe she can recover. In the beginning Coco was a scared and, and quiet bird. She didn't really sing or play. I just let them be and I take care of them and I give them love and attention and everything they need. She is doing better now. Uh, she sings often. She eats like a pig. She runs around the house naked, of course. She trusts me more, even with my hands. I'm very proud that she is doing so good. She can be a little diva sometimes. She knows what she wants and she's not afraid of showing it. Coco has a big personality. She can be a sassy and feisty little girl. She's eating first and alone. Blue has to step aside because Coco doesn't share any food. Blue is calling her. Blue loves her. Blue adores her. He gives her so much attention and he never leaves her side. He's always staying with her when it's on the couch or on the floor. Doesn't matter. He is very sweet for Coco. He gives her a lot of head scratches. More like boyfriend, girlfriend, but also with the love, love, hate relationship. We thought it was the stress causing Coco to lose her feathers, but after we took her to a bird specialist for a checkup, we've been told that she has PBFD and that this disease was manifested after the stress of the cats. I don't think she knows she's naked. When it gets a little bit colder, she has also a bird heater. So when she is cold, she can uh, snuggle up to it. And she loves to sit in front of it. Come here. What are you doing? Oh, what, a, what an interview is this? Huh?